And here's a pretty cool and quick update from the folks at Blender Foundation. And that has to do with the controversial extensions. So when we talked about Blender 4.2, we did mention that this LTS version of Blender 4.2 will be coming with extension. And it was literally changed inside of the Blender preference window. So previously, how we installed Blender add-ons was simple. You know, you open up Blender, you go over to edit, you go over to preference, you go over to the add-ons, hit the install button, and you install the add-on. And with 4.2 the LTS, we did see that the word add-on was scratched out and replaced with extensions. Now, previously, there was a long talk about extensions coming. A lot of people had their own fears about it. A lot of people, you know, accepted this, but extensions are here and they are looking pretty. And the fact is simple. Extensions are a combination of what you've got with add-ons and also themes. And this is something that the folks at Blender Foundation have actually worked heavily on. And they've implemented this very fantastic way of installing add-ons and themes. And how you do that, for those who haven't seen this, is you simply go over to the extension of Blender.org. I'm going to link this in the description. Click on any of the add-ons that you want. Click on Get. And you can literally just drag this into Blender and it installs. You know, it is pretty interesting what this looks like. Now, this came with a lot of backlash because the word add-on was actually omitted. Now, another thing that a lot of people had issues with was the fact that with Blender 4.2, the beta, which is, you know, the final build of what technically needs to come to the final, final build, except for the fact that we have to take a look at bug fixing and stuff like that. But whatever you get within the beta technically is what you will be getting with the final release. For you to install your own add-ons, you have to go over to the preference and then go over to extensions, then go over to a tiny button that is literally tucked away and you now have to install your add-ons, probably more like legacy add-ons or add-ons from disk. And a lot of people did not like that, as this simply looks like the whole idea of what happened with the modifiers when the modifiers turned out to be a drop-down list and yeah, you have to search for things before we got the fuzzy search, you know, integrated into it. It seemed to look like that was another, you know, move that a lot of people were not comfortable with as well. And so, in response to this, the folks at Blender Foundation, actually the Blender developers, have done something that I believe is commendable. Now they've taken a look at what the community is saying and they've actually come to that point where they're making a change within the UI. This is one of those rare occasions where updates happen after the beta has been announced and this is happening within the preference window. So if you simply go over to blender.org right now and you go over to the download section, scroll all the way down, go over to download Blender Experimental within the Blender 4.2 beta if you click and download from the 28th of June all the way down and you fire this up, what you would notice is simple. That at this point, if you go over to edit, go over to preference, you now have add-ons and get extensions. So it is no longer just extensions as we had previously and it's no longer just add-on as we had with the very, you know, 4.1 and, you know, previous versions. So you now have add-ons and right here within add-ons is where you can install your add-ons. The same problem that a few people had is still here. So the thing here is this, that if we're keeping these add-ons, then maybe we should have the install add-on button instead of having this drop down list and installing from disk. One of the main reasons people complained about it was not the fact that, you know, we've got the extensions and then we've got everything all you know, jam packed into one place. Yes, I get that fact was also part of it, but then having the add-ons and having an install button, instead of a drop down to hit the install, I guess might make a lot of sense. Another thing which I think, yes, makes a lot of sense that people complained about was if you have add-ons and extensions, all of them just live in the same place. I like the fact that there's a separation now, but then if we are having this new update, I would also love to see that update of that install button. So for example, if we open Blender 4.1 and we go over to edit, go over to preference, then we go over to the add-ons right here is clear, install. So you can install your add-ons directly from here. This is also going to affect lots of users that will be coming into Blender and would want to rely on previous tutorials to get things going. And I still think having that install button and that refresh button like we have with previous versions of Blender will definitely make a lot of sense. And for those who like to install the extensions, you can now install from here or you can simply go over to the extensions, you know, go in, find whatever extension that you want or find whatever theme that you want, click on that, go right here, click, and then you can click, drag and drop into Blender and install it. Speaking about the extensions, there are tons of cool extensions. I definitely suggest that you go ahead and see these ones. They're super nice, really, really cool. Lots of things are here. 
the ND, I don't know what a lot of people are sleeping on this, but this is a very useful tool. The UCU Painter is also another very useful tool. Tons of cool and nice extensions or add-ons and themes are coming to Blender and lots of them are free and I would definitely suggest that you see some of these. And more and more are coming because if you go over to the approval queue, you'll still see a ton of things. The Blender developers have also released a note on how you can convert your own add-ons to become extensions. So just in case you like to buy into that market, then you can also go ahead and do it. And I believe the extensions are one of those big features coming to the LTS. And speaking about the LTS, the Blender 3.6 LTS now has an update and the same thing can be said for Blender 3.3, the LTS. So in case you're using Blender 3.3, the LTS, sometime this year is when support will end. And you can come through and take a look at the change logs. The same thing can also be said for Blender 3.6. There are some updates as well. An update is also going to be running until sometime 2025. So just in case, you know, you want to catch up with that as well, or probably you're working with it, then you can also go through and check this out. So this is it for those who would like to see some more updates about Blender 4.2, the beta and some features coming to it. We previously did a full video about it, so you can simply go ahead and check it out. Meanwhile, for those who might be asking, what about Blender 4.3? Now, the reason why we haven't talked about Blender 4.3, the alpha, is because we are still waiting for lots and lots of things to come. So if you just simply go ahead and check, you notice we don't really have a lot of things going on here. And that is why we are not making a video yet. Hopefully, once we have at least two, three, four, five, or, you know, a good number of stuff happening around the sections, then we'll make some announcements and then let you guys know what we think are coming to the beta version of Blender and also to Blender 4.3. So this is it for those who like to take a look at all of this. And probably you'd like to get a good read on some of these topics that are right here. Or maybe you'd like to see some of the cool add-ons that are now available. Then links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. And of course, a huge shout out to the folks at Blender for making this possible. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one. Peace.